Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> um, I went to bed at like 11.30 last night, but I couldn't get to sleep until like 12 because of this runny nose. Oh, I don't think my nose can get any more raw right now. And, uh, <laughs> it's currently, um, 5.08. I think I've been up since, like, 4. I just can't sleep. My nose is all stuffy, and... <sighs> I just... I can't sleep when it's like that. It's so silly, and... Ugh, I hate that. Um, my husband's not even awake yet for work. So, <laughs> since I'm up so early, I'm already hungry, feeling like I need to eat breakfast, but it's just so early, I'm just like, ugh. I think I'm going to make me some hot tea, or something, just to maybe get some steam in my body, and uh, maybe that'll help loosen up some stuff, but y'all just don't understand, I never get sick. So that's why I'm like such a whiny baby right now. And I realize how much I'm such a whiny baby. Um, like, I don't get sick ever. I never get the flu. It's like a running joke at this point. When I first started dating Garen, him and his whole family got the flu. And I went over there because, you know, I loved him and missed him. And we were like so newly dating um, I didn't want to be away from him for uh, like a whole week while he had the flu. So I went there and took care of him and his whole family. And they were all like, you don't need to be here. You're going to get sick. You're going to get the flu. And I was like, well, I never get it. So if I do get it, it's fine. I was the only one <laughs> that did not get it. Even being surrounded by everyone having the flu. But they, I think that was like when they wanted me in the family because <laughs> I had like won them over I was like cooking for them and taking care of them while they were all sick and they were like you need to marry this girl <laughs> um but it's like the running joke ever since like I never get sick and um you know cross fingers thanking god I haven't even gotten covid it's like the same situation again everyone else in my husband's family has had covid I've been surrounded by his family having it and him having it in the whole house and you know at first I was joking like oh watch me be the only one to not get it and everyone was like well be careful what you say uh I still haven't got it <laughs> um I think I'm immune and everyone's like what's your blood type and I really don't think that's it because I have a twin who who did get it um <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. But when I get a cold, something little like this that's like nothing, I feel like I'm dying because I'm just not used to being sick. I never get sick. So I'm sorry I sound like such a baby. I know this is like nothing. I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> um, and I know it, it's not that big a deal. I just hate losing sleep. I hate anything that keeps me from like sleeping the way I want to because <laughs> I love sleep. Um, but I really got nothing else to do today so if I gotta take a nap during the day I guess that's okay. It's just I feel like I don't want it to mess up my um, eating schedule either because I don't want to eat now and then I don't know like eat too much throughout the day. I mean, I guess I could eat now. I don't know. I'm just also, like, so tired. I don't feel like eating. I just want to go back to bed, but I can't sleep. I'm too awake now, so, um, I'm sorry. So, another keto, keto struggle for me. I just fixed some tea. It's nice and hot. It's, um, oh, giving me some steam, but, um, Usually I like putting honey in my tea. It just tastes nice and it's soothing on my throat. It's just, I don't know. Honey and tea is uh, to me like the perfect mix. So that's one thing I'm having to like let go and try to replace. Um, I tried to put ginger and cinnamon in this and um, it tastes okay but it's a little strong like it sort of burns 
um, maybe that's a good thing, but I don't know, it's not the most pleasant sensation. It's definitely not as nice as honey, but, um, yeah. Another struggle. Good morning again. Um, it's later. I finally did get back to sleep. It's like 11 o'clock, but I think I got up at like 10.30. I do feel a little bit better. I mean, it was still like a struggle trying to sleep, but I did get some more sleep, so I'm thankful for that. And it's weird. I'm going to try to sit you here. Let's see. Let's sit you like that. I'm trying to find a better angle to sit you guys while I'm getting something. That works, I guess. You can see me. Um, so I'm going to fix me an omelet, but um, it's weird, my nose already feels like better. I'm like, is it about getting sleep? I don't know, it's like your body fixes itself. Um, so yeah, last night, y'all saw me get some uh, ice cream. I did get a little bit hungry when I got to my mother-in-law's and I've told y'all the struggles of me um, wanting food when I get to my mother-in-law's, but uh, yeah, she had some string cheese and some pickles, so I made a snack out of that. It wasn't too bad either. Just some something salty and a little cheesy. Um, so, not too shabby. So, I'm fixing my omelet, and this is all the stuff I'm putting in it. We got some white cheddar cheese, some pieces of ham. I'm gonna take some of that. I got some frozen. Pepper stir fry. I just take pieces out of that and cook it first so that it gets unfrozen. And today I'm going to throw some spinach in there with it. I also freeze my spinach. It really just does not last long in the fridge. So I am sore today. Like, so sore. I got up. I can feel it in my stomach. I could feel it in my legs. I feel a little bit in my arms, but mostly like in my thighs and my abs. Um, and I feel like the more sore I get, the more it's hard for me to encourage myself to work out. <laughs> I'm like, man, I really don't want to move now. I just want to sit down and let my muscles relax. Um, I just finished eating my omelet and it's like past 12 so I guess I'm gonna make that like my brunch um, just have two meals in one the thing is today I almost forgot um, Garen and I have to go to a church thing tonight at about 630 it's just a young couple at the church that's getting a bunch of, I'm sorry this camera angle's gone crooked. This is the best place I had to set it and it's kind of dangling, but oh well, it won't be for long. But um, this young couple at the church is uh, getting all the young couples together and just having like a bonfire cookout type thing. So I'm pretty sure she said they're bringing food. Um, and she wanted me to bring a dessert, and I couldn't say no. I was like, oh, of course, yeah, I'll bring a dessert. Um, but the thing is, <laughs> I'm on keto, so... I, I think I know what cookies I could make, um, but I can't eat them. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cook them here, smell them, be near them, and not eat them. <laughs> Talk about willpower and determination and um, sacrifice. Plus, I don't know what all is going to be there besides, you know, hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff. So, yeah, that's a whole thing. Um, in case y'all wondering what I'm doing, these are shoestring curls. I slept in them overnight. I used to do hair... Oh man, this thing went really crooked. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so sorry for what I put you through. I'm so not a good vlogger. But, um, 
I used to do a bunch of hair tutorials on here. Um, and if I have any subscribers left that are still watching my videos, that's pretty much what I was known for was hair videos. But you know, you kind of run out of ideas after a while and I pretty much think I did like everything I could have done as far as like overnight curls and I just like my creativity just went about as far as that and <laughs> yeah my hair is still a hot mess um these didn't turn out the best still a little frizzy I might even do it again since I don't have to be anywhere until like 6 30 or not but uh if y'all want to know how I did this I've got a tutorial still on my channel um, there's a bunch that I have, but the shoestring curls are what I still do to this day. Those are the easiest to me. As you can see, I just pulled it out in like two seconds. Um, so, yeah, so I'm kind of working my day around that. I'm probably going to have to like snack later because I know this probably won't hold me over until 6.30. Who knows? It might, but yeah. Sabrina, hello. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to actually try to work out here in a second because I definitely want to get that over with, um, with how sore I am. I'd rather just push through and get that done and then only focus on getting these cookies made and, um, I might even try to make my own batch of like some keto cookies. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I love, um white chocolate macadamia cookies and there's actually a keto recipe for that and I've got pretty much most of the ingredients I think I still need to get some more ingredients but um if I get my butt out my lazy butt out and go and do it then um maybe I won't be so super tempted with these normal cookies that I gotta make for the bonfire tonight so yeah, y'all just <laughs> bear with me as I go through this extreme temptation, because it's not just cookies, y'all. It's peanut butter chocolate oatmeal cookies, the no-bake cookies. Oh my gosh, they're so good, you guys, and they smell up the whole house and just, just like... Just having my spoon stirring it, it's going to be all I can do not to just like at least lick the spoon. So, you know, the struggle's real. <laughs> but okay, I guess I'm going to get ready to work out. So, I still haven't worked out. Partly because I'm lazy and partly because it is 3.32 and um, my Wi-Fi is not working. So, I can't get my TV to stream Prime. I've unplugged and plugged in my router twice now. Um, I'm waiting for it to reboot now after plugging it back in. So I don't know what I'm going to do if I can't get it to work. I mean, I don't have my passwords and stuff to get it onto my tablet. So um, the only other thing I could use is literally my phone. <laughs> so if I do use my phone, I won't be able to film it. Unless I use my tablet to film it. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so that's my current situation right now. And it'll be really hard to see it on my phone. Like, my phone's a little screen. So, um, yeah. If I wasn't so darn lazy, I probably could have done this a lot sooner.
So I just finished and that went pretty good actually. Um, yeah, it was uh, like a stretch workout. Was, I think they knew after two days of those workouts you needed just like a stretch course because I am sore. I was really dreading this. Like my abs, it almost makes me feel like I'm like I have an upset stomach or something because of how much my abs are hurting but that's a good thing I mean no pain no gain but the stretch definitely felt good because um I am sore so that was actually pleasant um I, I, I looked ahead this time to see what tomorrow will be and it says more cardio so ugh. sort of dreading that I'm not good with cardio but I'm gonna do it <laughs> um so yeah, it's a lot later in the day than I initially wanted to finish this workout. It's currently 4.07 and Garen's heading home. Um, so I'm going to try to get all my makeup, get stuff done. I don't think I'm going to make those cookies now. She did tell me I could even just go to the store and buy some cookies and I think that's what I'm going to do because I really, y'all just... That's too, too tempting. That's too much temptation for me to have to deal with. For me to have to fix cookies in my house and, and not eat them. It'll be tempting enough just to go to this party tonight and not cheat at all. So, much less having it in my house, too. So, yeah, a girl can only take so much. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do is just go and buy some cookies. Um... So yeah, I'll see y'all in a second. So, uh, we're about to head out and go to the store and, um, get some dessert. I'm starving. Um, so I'm just eating me a little protein bar, fiber one protein bar. It's very good. Chocolate peanut butter, you can't go wrong. So, yeah, I guess I'll see y'all after the party. Cool see how that goes all the temptation and all <laughs> all right it is like 11 30 I'm just getting home uh, yeah I'm not too happy with myself right now uh, I thought tonight was gonna be like a burgers and hot dogs type of thing well it was pizza and sodas and desserts and absolute and tips absolutely no th nothing healthy as an option tonight at all like the only healthy thing i could have done was like scrape off the toppings to the pizza literally all i could have done <laughs> um sorry my husband <laughs> um so yeah, um, of course, I'd only eaten an omelet and a protein bar all day, so I couldn't have just eaten the toppings to the pizza. So yeah, I had to cheat. And once I started, I'd, I'm bad at stopping myself. I'm bad at doing moderation. That's why I feel like I have to do keto. I just have to cut myself off from stuff completely because I just can't stop myself. And I'm so mad at myself because I can't. And I feel like I could enjoy so much more of life if I could just stop myself. But I can't. <laughs> um, I either can go cold turkey and just cut it off completely. Or I have a taste and I have to have it all. <laughs> um, so I had like, oh, I can't even say how much I had. It was, it's, it's making me mad just thinking about it. Um, but we had a good time, you know, and I... What is making me feel better is my determination to get back on keto tomorrow. I'm not going to let this beat me down. You know, I'm, moments like this happens. Um, I'm still considering this my, my four-month journey, strict keto, you know, as if it's just this one day, okay, and it was a social event. It wasn't just me sitting at home craving something and and having it you know it was a social gathering and I really didn't even have a choice my only big regret is that I didn't stop myself into eating more than I should have I could have just had like 
two slices of pizza and be done with that, but I, I didn't, and that's where I'm regretting. But we had a great time, and I'm not going to let just that bad part, you know, make me look on tonight as a bad night. You know, we, we had a great time. We hung out with friends, um, left about 1030, and uh, that's another thing. I've told y'all I'm renovating my bathroom, so currently we don't have a tub. I don't have a place to shower here, so we're always having to either go to my mother-in-law's or my mom's house to take a shower. Um, so annoying, really. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't really have anything else to say. I'm just a little discouraged. I hate that I, and even Garen was there trying to stop me. Like, I had even gotten a bag of chips and he was like, why are you eating that? You don't need to eat that. But once I had done it and I was kind of like, okay, I'm being bad. And then I just had more and more. I had some dessert. I had, like, an extra slice of pizza. <sighs> but this is, I guess, part of the journey. I don't know. The moments that I regret. And I'm still going to get back on the train tomorrow. I'm determined. Um, yeah. <laughs> no excuses. Um, but, yeah. Thank y'all for joining me today. I'll see y'all tomorrow.